While lying in hospital beds being treated for injuries, dozens of men were shot dead in this hospital in what can only be described as an execution. Inside, it's filthy and littered with decomposing bodies too gruesome to show. The hospital in Abu Salim was abandoned when fighting in the district of Tripoli escalated. This man is wearing a gas mask because the smell is unbearable. The medical volunteers called here to help can only clear up. We just collect the body and we, uh, we go to, uh, to put them in the other hospital, in uh, Tripoli, Tripoli Hospital, the big hospital. It's not known who killed the men, but many appear to have been sub-Saharan African, similar to mercenaries that Gaddafi had recruited. These may have been score-settling executions. The lawlessness has concerned many. There is an urgent need to put an end to the conflict and restore order and stability. All agree that if the Libyan authorities request, we should be prepared to help develop a police capacity uh, bearing in mind that the country is awash with the small arms. This district of Tripoli has been at the center of fierce fighting. A few days ago, around 1,400 prisoners were freed from the notorious Abu Salim jail when rebels released them. Many have now traveled across Libya to return home. At this port in Benghazi, a crowd of anxious relatives gather. They're waiting for men they haven't seen in years. Then, out of the crowd, a man finds his brother. For the rebels, these scenes justify the months of fighting to overthrow Gaddafi. Many of these people were thrown into prison because they opposed Gaddafi and his regime. Now they feel they are free of him. I was in Abu Salim prison, but finally we obtained a great victory and expelled the tyrant. Gaddafi no longer rules us. He has lost his legitimacy and may Allah punish him. The constant celebratory gunfire continued for another night in Tripoli's Martyr Square. But Libya is facing a humanitarian crisis. Britain is one of several countries to have pledged medical support, surgical teams and food supplies in an effort to help the hundreds of thousands affected by this conflict. Jane Dougal, Sky News.